Hello and welcome back to the world of psychology. Here is another experiment for you. In a moment you will see four different cards. All you have to do is to choose one of the cards. It's a free choice, just rely on your gut feeling. Got one? Okay. You really might think, well, this was a free choice. And there's almost no way that anybody could figure out which card you are going to choose. Nevertheless, I did my best to read your mind. And I suppose that you chose the wavy lines. Some might also have chosen the star as we associate quite positive things with the star, but probably only a small number of you decided for one of the cards at the borders, probably only a small number decided for the square or the cross. And that's also the result of a little pilot study I conducted at our university. About 69% decided for the wavy lines, about 17% decided for the star, 6% for the square and 8.5% for the cross. But why on earth are the wavy lines that attractive? Well, one reason might be, and maybe you realized it, that the card with the wavy lines was positioned a little bit askew. Some of you who realized it might have thought, well, maybe it was a little accident. But in fact, of course, it was planned. By positioning this card slightly different, it subconsciously became more attractive. And that's a phenomenon that is well known in psychology. Sometimes small differences can have a huge impact on our decisions. Take, for example, the study by James Naylor in which participants were asked to test different kinds of potato chips. But what they didn't know was that all the chips were in fact the same. The only difference between the different packs of chips they were given was the weight of the packs. So some potato chip packs had a weight of 198 grams, some 227 grams and again some other packs had a weight of 255 grams. And even though it seemed like that the participants did not realize the differences in weight, it had an impact on their rating of the potato chips. Because when they were asked, well, which of those potato chips do you like most? It turned out that those chips that were in the more heavy packs were rated best. So somehow, again, probably on an unconscious level, the higher weight was associated with a higher value. 